These are the hot picks of new comic books hitting stores, brand new releases for the week of July 28th, 2021. We got a lot of great picks this week, starting with Last Book You'll Ever Read from Vault Comics. Very small print run. There's a bunch of variant covers. Many stores will not order this. This could be a big surprise hit this week. Barbaric number two comes out. Another small print indie book. Number one had a lot of hype. Hasn't increased much in price yet though, but number two will have a much smaller print run. Runes number one has had some pre-sales. It comes out from Source Point. This one, very small print run. We've got lots of rare indie books this week. Cult of Dracula number five features uh, cover B by Shannon Mayer. This is my favorite cover of the week. Very nice artwork. Over at Marvel, we have United States of Captain America number two. This is a mini series where there's a new Captain America debut in each issue. And this week we get Nichelle Wright. Uh, this is the more common variant cover. There's also a Woman 25 variant of this new character. Star Wars High Republic number seven has a bunch of new Star Wars characters. Uh, first appearing in this issue. Marvel gives us Shang Chi 3. And this also features a new character. It's a sister, Zilan, I think is how you pronounce it. There is a rare ratio variant, which is already selling for double ratio on eBay in pre-sales. Marvel gives us a new Amazing Fantasy miniseries named after their classic title from the 60s. Some pretty cool homage covers also for this series. At Image, we have Mirka Andolfo Sweet Paprika. Lots of variants for this one, kind of looking interesting. They also give us Department of Truth number one, sixth printing, as this book is uh, unstoppable. We get Usagi Yojimbo. This is number 20, a key issue. This is the rare second printing. Print run is going to be extremely small on this one. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Annual uh, 2021 features a new character called Dr. L. Swamp God, number one from the creator Ron Mars over at Heavy Metal debuts a new miniseries. And Heavy Metal also gives us Black Beacon number one. These books are not getting enough hype. These are really high quality comics, small print runs. Uh, these books need some buzz because they really look great. The Overstreet Annual Price Guide, issue 51. Yes, 51 years in a row we've been getting the guide. Please go ahead and buy this book. You'll have the ultimate guide to every comic book ever printed way back to the 1800s, in fact. You can learn a ton of comic book history and get an idea of the writers and the artists and the important key issues of every title ever made. This could be the big book of the week if it gets some buzz. Hyper Thick number one is a small indie book. Almost no stores will order this. There are no copies even listed on eBay. I don't know if anyone will have ordered this book, but again, if it gets any buzz at all, if people go looking for this, they're not gonna find it. So this is the, the big gamble book of the week, Hyper Thick. At DC this week, we have Superman, Son of Kal-El, number one, looking very intriguing. Some very cool covers, including a Superman, number one, homage cover there on the right. I really like that one. Nightwing 78 is still popular. We get a third printing. And we get some of the milestone characters back from the 90s return. We have Icon and Rocket, number one, in a new miniseries. And one of the big hyped up books of the week, Something is Killing the Children 18. And yes, the ratio variant, of course, is heating up as it, they always do. So there you go, a ton of cool books out there this week. Thanks to Chris Nelms for spotting some of these first appearance books. Make sure you check out his YouTube channel as well. And please subscribe to this channel. We'll see you again next week.